Glory, 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 glory. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, 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 everyone. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Emmanuel Temple Praise Ministries, Amen. where the Spirit of the Lord reigns in this place. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Apostle, this is the day the yes. Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I don't know about you all, but I have something to praise God for on this morning. Just the mere fact, Apostle, he woke me up. Yes. Glory yes. to yes. God. Yes. Yes. He set my feet on solid ground. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. I have breath in my body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who would not serve a God like that? Would not praise a God like that. Glory to God. Glory praise to God. The name of the Lord. Come on, people of God. I don't know what you may be going through this morning, but just know it's only for a little while. Hallelujah. You have something to glorify yes. God for. So give him a praise on this morning. Amen. Glory to God. I'm Prophetess Christine Bowen with Emmanuel Temple Praise Ministries. And we want to thank you for joining our virtual Sunday morning worship service. And we hope that God does something miraculous in your life today. Amen. We hope that you have a wonderful Sunday, but a testimony as to how great God is. Hallelujah. Because no matter, again, what you're going through, God is still God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory yes, to yes, God. Yes, yes, and yes. so I'm going to open up in prayer and Apostle Carter is going to come with the word. And, and I tell you, y'all, let's get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. Because it's the Holy Spirit that moves in this place. It's the Holy Spirit that leads and guides us in everything that we do. So most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you, O oh Lord, for the precious gift of life. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you are our Father, that you never left us nor forsaken us, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you graced us with another day to be able to mm -hmm. be in your presence, yeah. to be able to come before your throne of grace and mercy, just asking you, O oh God, to forgive us. Yeah. Forgive us of all of our sins, our transgressions, our thoughts, our doubts, O oh God, when we have wavering faith. Forgive us, O oh God, of anything, any residue of anything that can keep us from being in your presence, keep you from hearing our prayers or keep us from stumbling, oh God. Father, we don't want to miss the mark, but we know that we have a God of mercy, a God of grace where we can come and ask, oh God, to create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, oh God. Hide your word in our hearts so that we do not sin against you, oh God. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Father, you've given us a way of escape, and I thank you for it because of your mercy and your grace. God, we ask right now as we go forth in this morning's service, oh God, that the fire of the Holy Spirit just reign over your people wherever they are, God. I ask that they feel your presence, oh God, as never before, that they feel a fresh wind, God, as never before. Yeah. You are encouraged and motivate God, move God in a miraculous way, in a grandiose way on today, God. I ask, oh God, as the blood of Jesus Christ uh, came streaming down, God, uh, that you cover us in the blood. Yeah. Keep us with the cover and protection of the blood. Uh, oh, God, and I pray for my husband, uh, Apostle Carlton, as he comes forth, God, uh, to deliver the word on this morning. Uh, oh, God, I thank you that he submits unto you. Uh, yes, not his will, but yes. thy will be done uh, on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, he is just your tool, your instrument your servant, oh God. And so, Father God, I thank you for the humility that he wears. I thank you, oh God, that he has a humble heart. And I thank you, oh God, that his heart is to worship and praise you, oh yes, God, God. to worship and praise a true and living God, yes, God, to worship and praise the triune God, yes. because you are everything to him, oh God. And we thank you, Father God, for those who have an ear to hear on today. Touch God and may prayers be answered on this morning in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen, amen and amen, amen and amen. 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 Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Love you. Love you. Glory. Praise the name of the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. Yes. This is the day that the Lord have made, and we will rejoice because why? Why? He woke us up this morning. Yes, talk, sir. And I, I'm glad. And I'm, no matter what happened today, I'm going to be glad in the word. Yes. I'm glad because I'm alive and well. And Jesus Come is alive on, and well in me, sense of God. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yes. I just thank God for this day, and I thank God for my wife. Oh, taste mm. my, 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 my. Yes, I'm God. tasting another day. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Not only that, mercy woke, woke me up this morning. Yes, God. Uh, Jesus on, said, Lord. mercy, go down and wake up my servant. Come on, Lord. And it is a joy for me to be a servant of the living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo. And so why as God woke me up this morning, I'm going to praise him. Come on, sir. I'm going to praise him all day long. My God. Today. You know, the song said, if you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. <laughs> Do you hear me? Don't hinder my praise this morning. Because I'm, I'm going to praise him in the morning. Yes. Praise him all day long. My God. Hallelujah. Do you feel like praising God this morning? Yes, he's a good God. He's Hallelujah. Good God. And while you're praising, there's some, some things we have to take care of. So I'm going to show you how to praise God this morning. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit said to tell you this morning to, to, to give you what you have what you what you have and you're not using mm. this morning hallelujah mm. glory to god so if you don't mind if you have your bible come with me to the book of matthew matthew chapter 23 come on matthew 23 is where we're going and i'm coming out of the new king james version this morning mm. glory to god is worthy to be praised Matthew 23, and I'm going to skip some verses. So just to let you know, I'm going to start at verse 11. Okay. Matthew 23, let's start at verse 11. Before I even go there, this is how Jesus was exposing the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Come on, sir. Amen. So, so because he's doing that, uh, we're going to start at verse 11 and say, but he who is greatest among you uh -huh. shall be your servant. Mm -hmm. Come on. Today, I'm going to take my time to let it soak in. And he said, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Come on. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Come on, sir. Preach today. Glory to God. He said, but woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. My God. I want everybody to write right there, hypocrites. Come on. For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who are enter, entering to go in. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pastor. 14 said, woe unto you, mm -hmm. scribes and Pharisees. Watch this. Hypocrites. For you devour a widow's house. And for a, a, a pretense. Everybody say pretense. Pretense. Come on. Make long prayers. Mm -hmm. Therefore... You will receive a greater condemnation. Uh -huh. Woe to you, blind, guided, who say, whoever swear by the temple, uh -huh. it is nothing. Come on. But whoever swear by the gold of the temple, he is obliged to perform it. Uh -huh. Verse 23 says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, uh -huh. for you pay tithes of mint and anise and cumin and have neglected the weightier matter of the law. Uh -huh. Justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without leaving the other undone. Ma, ma, ma. Blind guides who strain out a gnat uh -huh. and swallow a camel. My Lord. Woe to you, Scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, mm -hmm. for you cleanse the outside of the cup My Lord. and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Come on. Blind Pharisees, first clean, it's to cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, so that the outside of them may be clean also. Mm. Woe to you. Scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. 
for you are like a whitewashed tombstone, which indeed appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead man's bones and all uncleanness. My Lord. Even so, also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy mm. and lawlessness. My Come God. down to verse 31. Jeez. He said, therefore, uh -huh. you are witness against yourself uh -huh. that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. My Lord. Philip, then the measure of your father's guilt. My Lord. Serpent, blood of vipers. How can you escape the condemnation? Okay. And some of them you will scourge in your synagogue and persecute from city to city. Mm -hmm. That on you, on you, hear this, on you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth. Mm -hmm. From the blood of righteousness, Abel, to the blood of Zechariah, son Lord. Of, of, of Beresha, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. My Lord. Jesus. Surely I say to you, all these things mm, will come upon this generation. My God. You know, as I was studying this, I, had to, I ran home this, this week. I told my wife, <laughs> I said, I, I have to come home and write this message right now. So yep. I, 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 and our car said, please, I really don't need any disturbance because the, what the Holy Spirit was downloading me. Uh -huh. I need to put it out on paper so I can remember. And he keep downloading and downloading. This morning, my topic mm -hmm. is, are you a pretender or a partaker? Yeah. Are you a pretender or a partaker? All of what we just read. The Pharisees were pretenders. See, the dictionary defined a pretender as someone who claimed to have the right to a particular title mm -hmm. or position mm -hmm. when others do not agree. Jesus did not agree with what they were doing mm -hmm. or what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Jesus called him out. Lord. You know, in 1956, before I was born, Come on. so you think I was, I'm that old, I'm not that old yet, but in 1956, there was a group called the Platters mm -hmm. who sang a song called The Great Pretender. Yes. And growing up as a young boy, I hear people singing it and singing it and it's even my son, Brandon, he liked the old school songs and he just was 20, 23, 24, but he liked to, he liked the old school. And, and so the first verse of the song said, oh yes, I'm the great pretender. Pretending that I'm doing well. <laughs> my, God. my need is such, I pretend too much. My Lord. I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. But no one can tell. Mm. Yep. Beloved, hear this. This is my opinion. And I believe that the greatest pretenders are not found in Hollywood. Amen? They are found in our ministries today. My Lord. In our churches today. Come on, preach, Apostle. That's where the pretenders are. And, 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 and I have, we just read the scripture that backs it up. See, pretenders is not new. <laughs> they, it was around long before Jesus came on the scene in the flesh. We just read it. Pretenders falsely profess to be someone that they're not. They find ways to stretch the truth for their own advantage. Talk to me, somebody. I wish I had a witness up in here. Come on, Doing things in the name of religion, but only creating conflicts throughout the ministry. That's why you will see a lot of ministry crumble today. Come on. Dried up. Come on. 
because the pretenders are in leadership. My Lord. And so we find the Jews in this passage tried to convince everyone that they were doing the will of God, but got called out by Jesus because their works were ineffective. Hallelujah. And so, so, so today, saints of God, there are many believers, many preachers, teachers, uh, so-called prophetess and prophets, because the Bible says they're sheep, they're, they're wolves in sheep clothing who, who know Christ, but are operating in the ministry with a hypocritical agenda. I'm an apostle. They pretend to do the will of God, but they're really using it as a blanket to cover over their personal intention. They're using it as a platform to, to, to just cover, to, to just show themselves. Hallelujah. Using it. They're not using it for Christ, but they're using it for their personal agenda. And so, so often we hide behind a veil, pretending to be someone ah, other than who we really are. Hallelujah. Many people don't want you to know, saints of God, uh -huh. who they really are. So they pretend to be someone else. The church is not Hollywood. The church is founded on the word of God. These pretenders, hallelujah, they are pretenders because the Holy Spirit is not loosing them, saints of God. Oh, Jesus. You see, you see, see that the reason why I said that is that they love the Lord and know scripture. Hear me now. They, they know the, the, the scripture from Genesis to Revelation, but they have not been properly taught. And some of them don't even want to be taught. Help us today. They want to burn the king's style. Have it your own way. My Lord today. Come on, Jesus. And so their motives, saints of God, their motives are wrong because they lack understanding of God's truth, thinking that they're doing God a favor. Mm -hmm. Hear me now. You, none of us are doing God a favor. He woke us up this morning. He favored us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so, beloved, hear me, hear me, hear me. Take this. Take this. Don't fall into the trap of trying to carry out your own personal agenda oh under the disguise of doing the will of God. Hallelujah. We've seen that over and over and over. Don't try to do that. It will not work. You will fail. Just like Jesus exposed the Pharisees and Sadducees, he will expose you as well. My God, today, Lord, keep us, Father. Keep us. Keep us, Father. Help us, help us, help us. See, they say if you lie continually, it will to you it will become a truth. Amen. Glory, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. If you keep pretending, all of a sudden you won't think anyway. Huh. You will continue in it. Come on. That's what we just read. Yes, 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 yes. See, pretenders think they are. Defending the truth. Come on. When they are discrediting themselves. My God. Do you hear me? Come on, sir. The Pharisees failed to realize that they were condemning themselves by their words. Yes. By their attitudes and by their actions. Come on, sir. They failed to see that because they believe in the lies. Yes. Beloved. There are many pretenders in the churches today who will go to any length to discourage you from doing all that God requires you to do. Talk apostle. Do you hear me? Come on. So that's why the Bible said, no who labor among you. That's it. Come you on, have apostle. so many pretenders that your labor, the Bible also said, let the wheat and the tears grow together till the day of harvest. So let the pretenders Come on. Grow with you. Come on. But not to defile you. My God. Do you hear me? Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus. They pretend to know and understand scripture uh -huh. when in fact they are just like the Pharisees that we just read about. Come on, sir. And so Jesus, Jesus said they were acting in a way to be seen by the crowd. 
My God, come on, come on, come on. I'm going there. How many conferences are you going to put on in one year just to be seen? Huh? I'm dropping the mic right there. Woo. How many conferences? And Jesus is nowhere in it. Huh? Jesus Christ is nowhere in it. Yeah, yeah, you put it up. Yeah, you're going to have a conference. You're going to praise the Lord. But, 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 but then you're charging so much. I'm going there. Pretenders. Woo. See, pretenders do not care about the poor. The Pharisees did not care about the poor. They did not care about the needy. Uh, they did their deeds for the attention of men. Hallelujah. And that is all they will ever get. We just spread that because there will be no reward in heaven for them because they can't go to heaven. Pretenders will not enter the kingdom of God. People of God, Satan is the, is the pretender of all pretenders. Come on, sir. He can appear in many forms and can manifest himself in many ways uh, in effort to spoil the plans of God. Hallelujah. But hear this, hear this. Many Christians today fail because they do not buy in completely to the mission of God. Come on. The mission of the vision. Are you in or are you out? Huh? Can you see the vision? Huh? The vision, write the vision and make it plain. The vision is already plain for you to see. Come on, come on. Stop running with the pretenders. Because, oh God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on. Hear this, hear this. Pretenders. Memorizing prayers. Come on. Oh, God. Memorizing. When our hearts are far from God, it's powerless. Come on. Can I say that again? Memorizing the prayer. When it's far from God, it's powerless. If it's not in your heart, it's powerless. Oh, God. Glory to God. And oftentimes, the most eloquent prayer comes from the heart of a pretender. When you can get up every morning and pray the same prayer over and over and over, you're memorizing the prayer. How can you get some power from that? Mother. That means you have no heart. Jesus. One of the greatest pretenders in the Bible is in the book of Acts chapter 8. Mother. Acts chapter 8, verse 9, through somewhere between 21 to 24. Simon the sorcerer. See, Simon the sorcerer amazed people the people of Samaria with his trick all his trickery dynamic personality yeah come when on. Simon the sorcerer come down everybody used to respect him come on. amen because of the things that he was doing but watch this but when Philip and Peter came to the city uh oh he encountered the real power come on. his power was not the real power. He encountered the real power which caught his attention. Yeah. And as you read the story, he went to purchase that power. Come on. No. Hallelujah. You see, says of God, the big difference between Simon and the disciples is that they were partakers. Everybody say partakers. Partaker. The disciples were partakers who gave all the credit and attention to Jesus Christ. Come on, sir. They weren't pretending. They were partaking. Hallelujah. And so, and so whenever a ministry, here it is, is focused uh -huh, come on. on a self-exalting personality instead of Jesus Christ, there is a pretender in leadership, which is a serious problem today. My Lord, help us, Jesus. Help us. Jesus said in John 15, abide in me huh. and I in you. Come on, sir. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abide in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Glory to God. We need to be partakers. 
And if you know Christ as your personal savior, you can write right there, I am a partaker. Hallelujah. I am a partaker. See, saints of God, to be a partaker is to have the divine nature coming right from heaven. Do you hear me? What are you talking about, apostle? Genesis chapter 1, 26, verse 28. He said, then God said, let us make man in our own image uh, according to our likeness. Oh, Jesus, let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over the earth, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Come on, sir. Divine nature. So the Bible said in verse 27, God created man in his own image. That tells me that we have the divine nature of God right there. In the image of God, he, cre he created him. Male and female, he created them. Nature, the nature of God. Then God blessed them and God said, watch this, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, subdue it. Have dominion over the flesh, over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing yes, yes, that yes. move on the earth. Yes, yes, yes. That yes, there yes. tells me that I a partaker. Uh -huh. That there tells me that I have the nature of God. Oh, oh God of mercy. Us, I have the nature of God. And if I have the nature of God, I have the DNA. Woo! That's my DNA right there. Not only do I have the DNA, I have the power of God. So as we just read right here, we obtain it all when we got saved. Come on. All when we accept Christ as our personal Savior. You see, partakers know that prayer does not pull God to our will. But prayer pull us to the will of God, Lord Jesus. You, you hear me? This is not our will. God does not work on our will. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. So partakers, for our prayer pulls us to God's will. Yes, God. Preach, sir. Partakers are prepared by the Lord with scripture to respond to all the attacks that will come from the pretentious people. Come on, because they will. Hallelujah. Whatever they say about you, hold your head up high and say, I'm a partaker. Come on. I have the power. Yeah. I have the victory. You can talk all you want to talk about me, pretender, but I'm the partaker. I am the son and daughter of God. I'm the righteousness of God. Yeah. In him I live, breathe, and have my being. Come Hallelujah. On. See, God give us the grace and the wisdom not to fear our enemy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Not to fear the issues or the problems, but to face them with the word of truth. The yeah. word. Are you a partaker this morning? Come on, God. Jesus. See, Jesus compared us as children because he told his disciples, said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus compared us as children because children never hide behind the veil. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? They reveal who they are and don't care what to think about them. They don't care what to know about them. Their face reveals what's in their heart. Come on. I have a little four to go four going five year old granddaughter. Damn who I call I think I believe she's 44. Well. And the other day I was she was asking the question. I said, why are you asking so much question? And she said, because I'm a human. Because I'm human, Papa. Because I'm human, Papa. That shut me up. <laughs> this came right from her heart. She don't hide nothing. Come on. That's why Jesus put us in the class of children. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because partakers, we don't hide nothing. Hmm. We're transparent. Transparent. Oh, because oh, when you Jesus. see me, you see Jesus. Come on. Oh, Come hallelujah. On. Beloved, but beloved, hear this, hear this. I want you to stop living like an ineffective believer. Come on, say that one 
Come hear on, me. Apostle. Stop living like an effect, like an ineffective believer. Come on, come on. You are effective. Come you on. have the nature of God in you. Mama. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. You are born with the nature. Mama, mama. We are surrounded by the grace of God. By the peace of God, by the joy of God, by the love of God. Hallelujah. We are surrounded by a crowd of witness to the light of faith because we have stripped off every weight. Hallelujah. That was slowing us down. Come on, Come on. Saints of God. Watch this. See, this is what I love mm -hmm. because I've experienced this. Come on. As a partaker. Oh God, the glory goes wherever we go. Come on. Oh Jesus. Do you hear what I say? The glory of God goes wherever I go because we are living in the divine power of God who has given to us all things through his son, Christ Jesus. Yes. So where I go, the glory go. Come on, sir. Oh Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. You see, so many people today mm -hmm. might be in a position in the ministry, uh -huh. but they're not a partaker of the ministry. My Lord. They're not a partaker at all. They might be in the position that they shouldn't be in. Well, are you a partaker this morning? Ask yourself. Huh? See, partakers have victory over all that come against us because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us make man in our own image. Oh, God Thank of mercy. Holy Spirit. Huh? Come in on. the image of God. Partakers. We have the power uh -huh. to shut down and to rise up. Come on, come on, come Do on. Do you hear me, partaker? Come on, come on. We have that. God has given us the victory through the death the burial and the resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ. Come on. You need to tell somebody, I have the power. I am a partaker. See, when you are partakers, demons flee from you yeah. because they don't see you. They see the Christ in you. Come the on. Bible says, in the name of Jesus, demon will have to flee. And I'm walking in glory. I'm walking in Jesus Christ. And you have the armor of God ready to do battle. Partakers. Come on. Hallelujah. Everything, mm -hmm. everything the enemy mm -hmm. comes at us with Come on. will fail because of the divine nature of Christ working in us. Yes, God. Thank divine you. nature that tells me that we are more than conquerors, not just conquerors, more but we than. are more than. Come on. See that word Take more? That word. We Come are on. more. We are more than conquerors through him who love us. Ah, uh, to him who gave his son for us. Hallelujah. To him who sent the Holy Ghost in our lives. We are spreading the gospel today. And there has been much growth, much generosity, and uh, devotion uh -huh. to God's word through the prayer. And any opposition has come that has come. And any opposition that has been overcome. By the power of God. Help us. Says of God. Mm -hmm. The problem that we are facing today. Come on. The financial problem. Uh -huh. The health problem. Come on. The issues of life. Come on. All as partakers, we have overcome. We have the power. We are not living in the natural anymore. We are now living in the supernatural. Come on, come on. We are, we are not seeing through our natural eyes. The word of God said we are seeing through our spiritual eyes. And we have the power that when we speak glory to God, the glory of God just go out and remove these things. But we have to stand in faith, stand yeah. on the word, knowing that whatever, there's nothing impossible for God. And because I am walking in the supernatural because, because God and the Holy Spirit is in me. When I speak, things have to happen. My God, by faith. Come on, sir. We believe. My wife was talking about it this morning. My, my, my. If you want to know, if you don't believe, just go ask Elijah. 
Hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. Just go ask Elijah. Glory. Hallelujah. We will not stop nope. when people tell us to. Nope. You know why? Because of the power that is in with us. Glory to God. You know, when you're a partaker, there, a word named can't, don't, it don't come nowhere close you, close by you. No, that word, that, that word can't is not in your vocabulary. Talk to me, somebody. Because we are the righteousness of God. We have the power of God. Oh, God. Why? Second Peter 1 verse 4 said, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be what? Partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You don't have to worry about that. We have escaped that. Come on, sir. We are partakers. Oh, somebody right. I'm a partaker right there. Yes, Lord. And because we are partakers, Providence, we are going to get everything that God gave to his son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus. Says of God, I'm going to tell you this now. But you might not understand. So let me break it down for you. I am the richest man that ever walk the face of this earth. Me. You, if you're a partaker of Christ, you are the richest person that ever walked the face of this earth. Not because I have a lot of money, mm -hmm. but because of the Holy Spirit that lives in me. Speak, sir. Do you hear me? Because of the divine nature of God. I have the nature of God. I'm rich. See, when you are saved by the grace of God, you are anointed with the Holy Ghost, oh God of mercy, and a partaker of the fruit. That's why I can say I am the richest man. I'm a partaker of the fruit. Come on. The fruits of the Spirit, saints of God. The fruit of God. And as partaker, the Spirit lead us. The Spirit guide us. The Spirit comfort us. The Spirit give us power. The Spirit give us strength to overcome. And Jesus said, if I go away, I will set the comforter. Jesus said, he is that comforter. He's the Holy Ghost. Come on. Not only that, Jesus said, the world would know him. Come on, sir. The Holy Ghost. The world would know him, but you who are the divine nature of God would know him. Hallelujah. Because he is the Holy Spirit who dwells in you. And that's why he told his disciples in the book of Acts, go up in the upper room and sit and wait. Yes. You see, pretender can't enter the upper room. Woo. Partakers only. Oh. Do you hear me? They, they used to come out with a with a jacket called members only. How that, that members only coat? This is it. Jesus is telling you today, go in your upper room. Go in your closet because you have the divine nature and sit there and wait. Wait for the breakthrough. Wait for the Holy Ghost to come in because you're a partaker. Wait for the power to come upon you. Wait for the revelation to show you that you have the power. Hallelujah. And, and Holy Spirit is going to come in. Hallelujah. And show you how to use your power. Show you how to speak things in existence. Come on, Hallelujah. Come on. See, I'm glad. I'm glad, saints of God, that I'm serving a God that I know hears me before I even pray. Oh, God of mercy. Before I even speak a word, he hears what I'm saying. And I only have to ask him once. My Lord. Once. The word of God said, ask and it shall be given. The word shall is an absolute. It's a guarantee. Seek and you will find. Knock and, you, and the door will be open. That's the power we have. He transformed the power to us as partakers. We know that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. On, is the bro. power of God working in you this morning? Come on. Is he? 
Hallelujah. What prayer are we talking about? The power of the word. The word of God is our weapon against the devil. Ma, ma, ma. It is our weapon against anything that stands before us. It is the sword of the spirit that whenever the enemy come and to attack, we have the full armor. Hallelujah. The power, the power of the word will get your prayer answered. Jesus, help me, Lord, this morning. Say to God, pray in the power. You are, you are the divine nature of God. So when you pray, God hear you. Come on now. Come on now. And your prayers is answered. When you pray, you get God's attention. Oh, my daughter is calling me. Oh, my son is calling me. Come on. Oh, see the gospel. The Bible said the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. We have that, we have that power working in us to reach our friends, to reach our co-workers, to reach our relatives for Jesus Christ. Are you using the power? Do you know how to use the power, saints of God? See, once we get to the point in our lives, come on. When we can honestly believe, this is when we buy in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. When we can honestly believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God, uh -huh. Amen. That He is the Messiah, yeah. the Savior, the Master, Redeemer, Hallelujah, who died on the cross for our sin. Once we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that God has raised Him from the dead, then we have come to the point where we too. Have obtained the power. Hallelujah. Come on, sir. The power, the power. We're talking about the power because, because so many people are walking in shame. So many people, so many saints of God are walking in doubt. But we have the power of the Holy Ghost in us. Yes, yes, the same one that raised Jesus from the dead. Come That's on. the power that we have. We have the power which opens and closes doors. The power that gives freedom to those who are in bondage. The power that heals the sick. The power that raises the dead and moves whoever or whatever is stopping your prosperity. That's the power that I'm talking about. That's the power that I have. When I speak, all the obstacle is in our way. Have to go. When I speak, that Jericho wall that is in your way is going to fall flat. And when you speak, because you have the power, the same wall that was what was stopping you is going to fall flat, going to fall flat. Glory to God. It's not going to crumble. It's going to go far flat. So it's what created a path over the bridge of troubled water for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as partakers, saints of God, you have the authority. Come you on. have the control, the influence, the ability, and the strength to do greater works than Christ when he was on the earth. Amen. He said when when... When Christ was risen from the dead, he said, I have overcome the world. Yes. Hallelujah. And greater work shall you do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's the word. That's not Carlton's word, but that's the word that I'm going to stand on. Yes. I am doing greater works than Jesus Christ when he was walking on the earth. Why? Because the spirit that raised him from the dead lives in me. My God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so each of us have been equipped with a certain amount of power. Because power, here it is, is the influence mm -hmm. to make things happen. Yeah. Are you a partaker this morning? Yes, Lord. Do you have the influence in you to make things happen? Come on. When you speak, things happen. Wait. Yeah? Well, Apostle, I hear you talking about partakers and pretenders. Hear this. If you want to be a partaker, you need some knowledge about what being a partaker is. Amen. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 10, he said that you may walk worthy of the Lord, mm -hmm. fully pleasing him, mm -hmm. being fruitful in every good works, Come on. and increasing in the knowledge of God. Uh-huh. That's the door to being a partaker. Come on. Do you hear me now? You got to walk worthy. Come on. You got to walk holy in the Lord. My Lord. Fully pleasing him. Ah, being fruitful. Because the Bible said, by their fruit, you shall know them. Help us, Lord. Amen. 
You got to increase in the knowledge of God. Teach. That means you got you got to study your word to show yourself approved. Come on, teach. amen, amen. So before we can we can in 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 other words, the journey you have to take a journey. But so many people want to jump and run to Calvary. Hallelujah. But before you can get to Calvary, you have to go to Gethsemane. Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm talking about? The journey that you have to take to Calvary because you're not Christ. Christ could have just went straight to Calvary. But he said, no, I can't go to Calvary like that. I got to teach my disciples and show them where the power come from. So my journey, I have to go to Gethsemane so they can see the flesh and the spirit work at the same time. When the flesh comes on and say, no, you can't make it. The spirit of God just jump in and said, God, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. So in Gethsemane, the gates to Calvary are open. Are you willing to go to, to, to Gethsemane? You cannot reach Calvary without going to Gethsemane. Do you hear me? Partakers. Why? Why is that? As a partaker, you don't just know Christ in his death. <laughs> Come on. Do you hear me? Come on. No, 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 no. We also know him in the power of his resurrection. Glory to God. So if you want to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, you must know him and he must know you. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Yeah. Jesus said, Jesus is saying that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Come on, sir. Preach this word. Hallelujah. So our power is greater than the power of the enemy. Oh, God of mercy. Help us, God. Come on, apostle. If you will answer our prayer, hallelujah, answer our prayer. Jesus said, just answer the prayer. Let me come in. Pray. Pray without ceasing. And watch me work. Watch me work. What am I saying? If God will answer the prayer, oh, oh, God. Hear me. If God, oh, Holy Ghost, thank you, Holy Ghost. If God will answer our prayer to stop the rain, oh, God, don't you think he will answer your prayer to make it rain again? Yes, Lord. If he answer the prayer of Elijah mm -hmm. to stop the rain for three and a half years, mm -hmm. because Elijah realized that he was in the nature of God. Divine power of God was working in him. Oh, God of mercy. Says of God, I know I've done it before. I said, God, slow the time down so I can get to some, somewhere. And God got me there on time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here telling you what I hear. This is what I know. Many times I said, God, I know it's raining. We have an event. Me and my wife, we have a church event outside, giving away some, some things for the for the community. And I remember it was a, the weatherman said it's gonna rain, and the cloud came over, ready to rain. And we pray. And you know when the rain comes? After the event. Come on, sir. This is the power that God, God said, I hear you because what you're doing, you're doing my will. You're in my will. See, when you're in the will of God and you speak these things, God said, hey, Rain, stop. Because your son and your daughter just told me that they're doing my will. Mm -hmm. They're lined up with my will. Come on, sir. And I heard them. And I'm going to do what they asked me to do. We have the power. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, the devil wants you to be ashamed mm -hmm. of the gospel. My Lord. Pretenders. Come on. Amen. He wants you to be ashamed. He wants you to be embarrassed mm -hmm. to witness to your friends, My to Lord. witness to your family, to witness to your co-worker. Huh? Some people, they praise the Lord, but when they go to work, it's a different, it's a different thing. Oh, God of mercy. Where's the light? My Lord. Huh? He wants you to be afraid. But don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Pretenders are afraid of witnessing. My Lord. 
partakers are bold. Uh -huh. Amen. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 20, he said, I have been crucified. In Galatians, not Genesis, Galatians, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Yes. If Christ is in you, hallelujah, you are a partaker. It doesn't matter where you go. People will recognize you because you are the light. It goes on to say, and the life which I now live in the flesh, mm -hmm. I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Yes, Lord. Saints of God, hear this. We live by faith in the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Christ is our life. Mm -hmm. And therefore, personally dwells in us and live his life in and through us. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Because, hear this, we have entered mm -hmm. into a new life in Christ. We can now live as people who have become partakers of Christ. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm going to leave you with the scripture. Ephesians chapter Three, verse 17 through 19 he says that Christ may dwell in you in your heart mm -hmm. through faith that you be rooted and grounded in love mm -hmm. may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, mm -hmm. that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. Are you a pretender this morning? Or are you a partaker? Huh? We have to have the fullness and the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be a partaker this morning, or if you were a partaker and you backslide, we invite you to come back. Come on back. God, his outstretched hand is waiting for you, prodigal. Come on. Many of you, many of you today went on the pretending side. And God is saying, I am here just like the prodigal son fathers. They're waiting, looking down. Looking down, God is saying, I'm doing the same thing. I'm waiting for you to come on back. Come partake. That's why the, the psalmist said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm. Some of you have tasted the mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. Now you're missing the taste. Because everything you do, the flavor is not there. It don't taste good. It don't feel good. It don't sound good. And Jesus is saying, come on back. Come on, come on. Come taste the good manner. Come taste the good food. Come on, get, get strength so you can overcome. Be the partaker. Repeat after me. Father God, here I am, just as I am. I come confessing with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is your son and that he died for my sins. And on the third day, you raise him from the dead. Now, according to your word, in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, I'm saved. Thank you for my salvation. If you pray the prayer with me, welcome to the family of God. Welcome back. And come on, let's be a partaker together. Let's partake. Let's partake. Let's be that family that God has called us to be. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If you need prayer, oh, God. The information is right there. Hallelujah. It's right there. If you need prayer. If you need somebody to talk to. We're not just saying that. We're right here for you. Because we want you to be a partaker. Listen, one pastor told me one day, and i never forget it. He said, Pastor, this pond is too big for me. Mm -hmm. For one fisherman. There's so many fishes out there. Mm -hmm. I can't handle this part. 
the, the spawn is, is, is like the ocean. And I'm saying that I not thank that pastor until this day. Many years ago, he said that. I thank him because this pond is too big for ITP ministry. We need, we need, we need leaders to come together to have that oneness to partake. Amen. We need a unified front to go out. As God said, go out the great commission. We need leaders to come on in and join us mm -hmm. as we go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. You need to take inventory and ask God, God, if I'm a pretender, help me to be a partaker in your kingdom today. This is the message from the Lord. Give the Lord God a hand. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Remember, partakers and pretenders, Bible study is on Friday. And we welcome everybody. Come and hear the word. Come and study with us. Amen. Glory to God. And if you don't understand something and want it to break down, come on, just send it to us and we can share together in the word. If we don't know it, we're going to share it. We're going to go in the word of God and share it together. Amen. 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 Come on, Providence. Come on. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory, glory. Awesome word. Thank you. Prophet. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for that word. Lord knows you were talking to me. Have mercy, Jesus. Glory to God. I, I tell you, I got so excited. I forgot my glasses. But anyway, Amen. please, Lord, if you all would, please share this video. It only takes a click to share. And share so someone else can be blessed. Amen. Yes. Be blessed with the truth. Be blessed with the word of God. Hallelujah. We want to thank you all for joining us on last Friday night's Bible study. Yeah. Because every other Friday, we're going to have buddy Bible study. Amen. Amen. Buddy Bible study where we're coming together to share and partake in the word of God. And so please join us on this Friday. It will be Apostle and I teaching the word. And then on Sunday, you are welcome to join us. Amen. Amen. Everyone is welcome. Stay tuned for more events and things that are coming about that, that the Lord is downloading in us. Amen. Anyone Hallelujah. that we do not have the information for that you may be having a wedding anniversary or you may be having a birthday or even a church anniversary. We want to celebrate you on this morning Amen. and, and just tell you, you know, happy birthday, happy anniversary, whatever it is that you may be personally celebrating. We Glory celebrate with you. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Also, if you would like to sow a seed into this ministry, please go to Cash App, ITP Ministries, or Zeal, ITP Ministries 7 at gmail.com. So on good ground. And you can also contact us through Messenger. Amen. So, Father, we thank you for thank the word this morning. We thank you for your messenger. Father, we ask yes. right now, Lord God, that you... Pour in what he poured out, Father God. Yes. We thank you for your servant. Thank we you thank you, Lord God, God, that he hears straight from heaven. Yes. And we thank you for those who had an ear to hear. Father, help us to be partakers. Yes, help us, Lord God, to let our light shine no matter where we are, Father. Let us not uh, walk in doubt, but walk in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father, we're going to be careful to give you all praise and, yes. all, glory and all honor. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. Uh, Apostle, it is your turn. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Peace.